all know that smoking is bad for your health, but for some reason, if that's not enough reason for you to quit, it's also detrimental to your looks. If you've already kicked the habit, but you think the damage has been done, dermatologist Dr. Janine Downey is here to give everybody out there a second chance. And we all deserve a second chance, right? Absolutely. And there are second chances in life. Exactly. Stop smoking, though. Stop. It's not good for you. But if you are a smoker or if you've uh, stopped smoking and you right. start seeing you know, the, the lines and the wrinkles in your, in your face, there's a few things that you can do for your Absolutely. skin, right? Absolutely. Okay. So, First and foremost, something that people don't think about, actually mm -hmm. having antioxidants. Right. So you can have them in your diet. This is a product called Glowell. It's glowell.com. Mm -hmm. And what happens is this is a raspberry jasmine. There's also pomegranate lychee. And you pour this in your protein shake, swirl it up with some berries and some yogurt, and you have that. And this gives you a really super high amount of antioxidants. Oh. Antioxidants help to fight free radical damage caused by smoking. So in other words, if smoking wrinkles your face, this mm -hmm. is something that helps to add that glow factor back. Okay. Now, in addition to that, we have the over-the-counter Aveeno, the Positively Ageless, and the Provage MD, which are both two very good antioxidants. This is much higher in terms of its antioxidant capacity, the Provage MD, than the Aveeno is, but both of them are very good. So you have drinking your antioxidants, putting your antioxidants on topically, in terms okay. of helping to repair your skin damage from smoking. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Right. And your then, hair, you also, when, if you smoke, there's deposits that are left on your hair and it leaves it limp and dull, right? right. Exactly. Okay. And so looking at this picture of this lovely woman up mm -hmm. here, we see that her hair is a little bit duller from smoking. Okay. So these are the two shampoos that we recommended, the Nexus Volumizing and the Nexus Conditioner here. And what they do is they just add volume, mm -hmm. they bring back the highlights, they take those smoky deposits out your hair. And in addition, you can see from the lines that she has that she does need a little bit of Botox. This is one of the best things out there, both for smokers and non-smokers, admittedly now. Uh -huh. And the Juvederm helps to fill the lines between the nose and the mouth. And at this point, we put at other places off-label uses we like push it high up in the cheeks for people that have sagging skin from smoking so this okay. is something that's great but also. How often would they have to get that done? The Botox is every three to four months the Juvederm is like every six months to a year it depends on the person. Okay absolutely. how much damage has Age, been done. Age how much right? they smoke to begin with okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. One other telltale sign of someone that, that does smoke is their teeth and their lips. Teeth are usually you know discolored and the lips teeth can are tell. really discolored absolutely yeah. Yeah. so the crest advanced white seal the crest whitening mouth rinse and mm -hmm. then this this is something from my dentist. Uh, I never smoked, but unfortunately, as we get older, we get deposits on our teeth too. So this is actually a prescription whitener, and those are very important. And then we cannot forget lips. So this is a facial sunblock, but I also recommend that people put this on the lips because smoking gives you these nice deposits of gray on yeah. your lips, and it doesn't matter what race you are; it just doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. So to combat that, I tell people to put on the sunblock, put it on their lips, and then this is a great lip moisturizer because your lips will also get very chapped because right. smoking decreases the oxygen and supply to your face. Mm -hmm. And if you are going to smoke, I tell my patients, don't dangle it from your mouth. Actually hold it out from your face. Okay. That's actually better, believe it or not. Okay. You know, too much yeah. on the lips, you're definitely going to start seeing that discoloration Absolutely. there. Okay. Absolutely. A few seconds left before we go. Mm -hmm. A lot of people smoke as a, uh, a weight suppressant or, you know, right. do you say, just old-fashioned. The, the old-fashioned way is hard work. If, right. you, if you're working really hard, jump rope, get some aerobic exercise in there, do that instead. And then for your nails, we have some whiteners and some nail hardeners because mm -hmm. smoking sends to split and chip your nails as well. Okay, I should have said appetite suppressant. That's what mm -hmm. I was looking for too. But mm -hmm. hey, exercise always works. Thank you so much, Dr. Downey. You're very welcome. Great to be here.